Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 1990 game review for the Game Boy or the NES, I think it's called. Spider-Man's girlfriend, Mary Jane, is abducted by a band of his biggest enemies who take turns taunting him over a walkie-talkie? A, a giant old cell phone. It's, it's something like that. And every time he, you know, every, before every level, there is this cutscene where he talks with someone who's going to be the boss enemy of the following, of, of that level, you know. And yeah, he gets to fight Mysterio. I'm only gonna talk about the first three or so. Mysterio, what's it called? Scorpion, you know, Green Goblin, and all of them attack in ways that you'd expect them to, although, as is typical for boss fights of this era, they'll basically just have a set path that they'll go through and you have to look for an opening where you can attack them and dodge all their other attacks. Spider-Man is freakishly weak in this game, dying from very few blows, and there seems to be no way to get more than the two lives that you start with, which you're really going to want to conserve. He can fire webbing, but that you'll also really want to conserve, and swing through the city, which can really help get, or swing through the level, which can really help you get up above enemies that, you know, might be troublesome down below. And also there's one level where you are on top of tall buildings, and sometimes you're going to need to swing from one building to the other. This is basically a side-scrolling beat-em-up, I guess, although all enemies but boss enemies actually die from a single blow. Spider-Man has no range except for firing webbing, which again, you'll want to save up. And he doesn't seem to... He's, he's not really good at attacking anyone who's crouched. Although, when you crouch as him and then attack, is actually much more likely that you'll get through the fight without, you know, getting your ass handed to you. It's a really, really tough game, and it's because it's so short. It's not going to take long to beat if, you, if you're able to beat it, basically. But, yeah, getting to the point where you can actually beat it is extremely tough, and so that's what you're going to be spending the, the time on. That's the time you put into the game is mostly going to be spent trying to get to the point where you can get through the entire game. And at that point there actually is a high score table, so you can kind of compete with, you know, others on that. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.